A uh, 4R70W Josh Booze uh, unit is cleaned up. Uh, we do have uh, the other uh, the other bench has some of the components. This is a high mileage 4R70W transmission. Uh, gear train looks to be okay. Uh, the hubs and uh, drums appear to be okay. We do have a little bit of wear on the pump gear here. You can see the lines may require replacement, but the majority of the damage components are over here. Okay, so we have. Uh, Clutch components here. Uh, these clutch components, uh, part of the uh, this drum here, the end of this drum failed, and when the end of that drum failed, uh, caused the uh, incorrect apply. Um, so, in addition to the uh, normal rebuilding items, we're going to have to replace. You know, this is the input clutch drum. The input shaft gets pressed into there, but these drums are very prone for failing. Uh, we also have. I'm not sure whether this direct drum or this direct drum is from this particular one there's another input drum that was actually from a, a ford van uh, so we have uh here's a input clutch drum this gets replaced with a billet piece from sonics uh and it is machined instead of just being a stamped sheet metal piece of junk so it makes it much much more uh much, much more durable, and even if you have little pressure spikes, uh, it does not break the drum brake. Uh, this drum, just because of the process that it undergoes to deform it, to make the, the ring land here, um, it's, uh, it's stressed in this area, and it's mechanically compromised in that area as well because you have areas of it that are machined out. Uh, so, you know, uh, basically this drum fails on a regular basis. Similar situations happen on these direct clutch drums. They either break at the uh, the ring land here, or they break uh, where the weld is here, or uh, they break on the center in the center area. So, like I said, I'm not sure which one is the uh, which one is from uh, the, the the actual uh, the F-150, but nonetheless, they get replaced on all these jobs. Uh, so, um, also going to machine the case here. Uh, the case gets machined. Uh, in the servo bore uh, and uh, actually this one uh, actually has been machined already this is for overdrive uh, we machine that case you see we put sleeve retainer that's that green stuff there uh, so once that's done uh, you have sound apply integrity with the servo for the uh, the band that is uh, the overdrive band so uh, even with these additional parts requirements, still going to be able to build this transmission, have upgraded components. Actually, this here is the billet Sonics piece, okay? This piece replaces, you see this drum here? It's a billet steel drum, much, much more mechanically sound. This is the original drum. There's your, uh, your bleed valve there, check valve. And then you have uh, the, other, uh, the other side, which is... Uh, Heat treated splines, you can see the discoloration, that's because they heat treat that section, as they do from the factory as well from Ford, but this is a much, much stronger uh, piece, and it's more cost effective than buying the factory drum.